Hello and welcome to this session. I'm Raghav and you can find all my work on my website automationstepbystep.com. In this session, I'm going to go very basic step by step. So do not worry if you are a complete beginner. And after this session, you can also take the Selenium quiz on my website. So let's get started. And in this session, we will start with what are web elements and then we will see how to locate elements on the website using selenium we will see how to find single and multiple elements we will also learn some element selectors strategy and i will tell you what are the best selectors to use and what are the selectors to avoid and then we will learn about relative locators and this is a part of selenium 4 where we can find the elements based on the neighboring elements and we can use functions like above below is left off is right off near etc and this is going to be very easy and very interesting so let's get started and let us start with web elements now web elements are any objects or any elements that you see on the web for example if i go to any website uh, let us say i go to google.com now here Anything that you see, whether it is a button, a text box, a link, an image, all these are elements and all these elements have some properties and based on these properties, we can find and locate the elements in Selenium or in automation testing in general. For example, this is a search box. If I just do a right click and say inspect and it will open the document object model and it will highlight the section corresponding to this element and you can see here we have all these properties it is of type input it has a class property and it has a max length it has type and it has name so all these properties can be used to find and locate the element and in a moment i will show you how exactly this is done and this is exactly how we locate the elements in selenium let me give you a very quick example i will open my eclipse and this is the project that we created in part one i hope you have this project you can watch part one if you want to and then here we also created we added the selenium 4 libraries in our pom.xml and you can see this and then in our src test java package we created a package called test and then we created these classes first test and browser now i will create a new class for this session I will do a right click on test package new class and I will call this as elements you can name it anything and I will say finish I will also add a main method control space bar to give auto suggestion and yes here is my main method and first I will have to add the code to open the browser this I can just copy from my earlier class. So this is the code. I'll just copy this and put it here. So here we are using WebDriver Manager for Chrome driver and then we are opening the Chrome browser. Here are some timeouts. All this we have learned in part one and then I'm going to google.com. Now after going to any website, I can say driver.findElement we can say find element for a single element or find elements for multiple elements and then i will say by by is a class in selenium and then if you say by dot you can see all these options so in this case i want to find an element by name property i will say name and the name of the search box is q and then if you want to do any more actions you can do after this for now i'll just end it here so i will know if it is able to uh, find the element and run properly or not I will also say driver dot close at the end and driver dot quit and I will do a right click run as Java application and let us see what happens it opens the browser goes to google.com and it closes that means everything ran fine there are no errors that was that means it was able to find this element now if I have to do any action, I can directly say here dot let us say send keys and I want to send something, write something here. I will say uh, let us say automation step by step. I want to write in the search box so I can do that. And let us see what happens now. Uh, let me also add some wait time so that you can see properly on the screen. I will say thread.sleep 
and I will just wait for two seconds before closing the browser. This is not recommended, uh, hard weights are not recommended but just for this demo to show you on the screen I am doing this, I will also have to add throws declaration or I can surround with try catch. As of now I am adding the throws declaration here. So let us now run again and check what happens. So it opens the browser and yes it has written automation step by step and then closed the browser. So this is how you can uh, find the elements and I can also I can just store this in a type web element. I can say web element search box equals to this and in this case I will remove the action. I have just found the web element, located the web element and then used the selenium web element class and given a variable. Now using this variable name search box I can do rest of the actions separately. So I can say search box and then I can say send keys uh, let me say search box and then I can say send keys and then I can write something here and this will also work. So I will save and run and check and yes this is working fine and you can see it does not uh, if I want to click on the search button it will not click because when I say ABCD it is actually hovering over and it is actually masking the search button so for that I can say I can either directly say here keys dot and I can say enter like we do manually we write something and then we directly press the enter key so I can use keys dot enter here and in this case it will just enter after writing this text so I will save and run and check so it opens the browser goes to google.com and yes this time it has clicked on the it has just pressed the enter key so this is how we can interact with elements in selenium now how to locate single and multiple elements so we have already seen how to use or how to find single element and then if we have multiple elements we can also use a web element list let me give you an example suppose I go to uh, this practice website try testing this and here you can see we have so many elements let us say I want to get all these option elements and if I do a right click here and say inspect here I can see the name of all these options this is under this particular tag and this is the name so I can use this I can say here first I will have to go to this website I will say navigate dot to and I will give the website URL which is this one and here so this is the website and then I will say let me comment out this thing so we do not waste any time here I will say here driver dot find and you can see now we have option find element and find elements so this case I will say find elements and I can say by dot name and I will copy the name So I'll give the name here and that's it. Now I can store this in a list of type web elements. So I can say list and that this should be of type web element and then I have to give some name to the list. I will say options equals. I will have to import the list so I will get it from java.util and that's it. So this statement will store all these option elements and then I can say if I have to get these elements I can use any loop for example I can use a for loop I can say for 
and I will say web element I'll give some variable element in options so until there is value in options I want to print I will say SYSO control space bar to autocomplete and then I will say element dot get text so that I can see what is the text and that's it I will save and run so let us see what happens so yes it goes here and if I check my console you can see it has printed all these text of the options so this is how you can get the list of elements so this is the code you can just get the element and store it in a list of type web element and then you can use any loop to traverse through the element list so we can locate multiple elements like this now let us learn some elements locators strategies so there are multiple strategies that you can use in selenium and whenever you say driver dot find find elements and you say by dot you can see all these options so we have class name css selector id link text partial link text name xpath etc so all these are selectors strategies and here we can use id if you have a unique and consistent id available and this is the best locator and then if you have name you can use the name property you can use the link text you can also use the partial link text to locate the element or you can use the class name of the element we can also use the tag name and if we have CSS selectors, we can also use the CSS selectors or we can create a CSS selector. So these are different element locator strategies. Now we can have XPath as well. So we can create an XPath. Uh, some time ago, I had created a video on this. So if you go on my website, automationstepbystep.com, here, if you scroll down, let me in zoom it yeah so if you scroll down here uh, you will see xpath and web locators so just in case you want to see how to create xpath and web locators you can watch this particular playlist so it will take you to my youtube playlist and here you can see all these videos and then uh, here we have all these strategies now what strategies or what locators or selectors you should use the first thing you should check is if the id property is available and it is unique and consistent and if it is available unique and consistent this is the best selector to use so whenever id is available you can use the id property in case id is not available or it is not unique or consistent then we can go with css selectors so for css let me give you an example suppose i want to find out this particular text box i will do right click and inspect and here i have id so in, in this case i can directly use an id but i can also create a css with this id so here i can say find element by and i will say dot css selector and here i will say because i have id i will say hash and give the name id name here or the id value here which is here f name in case there was a class i can say dot and the class name so for class we use dot and for id we use hash and then i can say dot send keys and i can give the name here so this is how we can do it let me try this out i will save and run so it opens the browser goes to the application and as you can see it has written raghav here and then it closed the browser so this is how we can use css selectors and if id is not available this is the next best selector after this you can use xpath you can create xpaths and then uh, you can find the elements based on the xpath and then after this you can select or you can use the other locators now as a tip always keep your locators compact and readable so that when you look back into your code you should be able to know and uh, make out what exactly you have used and then 
uh, whenever we use any locator strategy to traverse through the DOM, it is an expensive operation. It is it can be time consuming and it will be uh, it will take a lot of your performance in case you are not using some really good and proper selectors. So make sure that you use it properly and take care of all these tips. And then let us come to our topic relative locators in Selenium 4, which is a one of the major advancements in Selenium 4. So here we can use the relative locators and functions like uh, left off, right off, above, below, near, etc. So these are all the functions we can use. And here we can use it like we this is the syntax we can say driver dot find element relative locator dot width and then we can give the uh, some context and then we can give the element near which we want to find that particular element let me show you an example suppose i go to some demo website let me go here orange hrm demo website and here let us say I want to find this password box which is above the login button so I will uh, let us say I have proper selectors for login but not for password in that case I will find login button and then I will say above the login button whatever input type of field you have I want to get that field so you can see if I do a right click and say inspect on password it is of type input so I want to get that and if I do a right click on login button and say inspect it is of type input as well and this is the ID available so let me first find out the login button and before that I will have to navigate to this website so I will say driver dot navigate dot to and give the URL of the website and then I will say I will have to find this login button and this is the ID so I will say driver dot find element by dot ID and this is the ID if I want I can store it in a variable of type web element so I will say web element login button equals this so this is fine I will also comment out all this so I will I'm commenting out the earlier part so yes so now after finding the login button I want to find a input type of box which is just above the login button so for that I can say driver dot find element and I will say relative locator and you can see it is coming from org open QA selenium support locators dot with and then I will say by dot let me say I will use the tag name so I have to give what type of element I want to find because they can be so many different types of element near or above this particular uh, login button so I'm saying I just want to find a element which is of type input and then I can say dot and now you can see all these relative locators above below near left off right off I will say above this locator which is or above this element which is login button so it should be able to find the password box and just to make sure it has found the box I can write something I will say send keys and I will give something here ABCD so that I will know that it has found the password box and let me increase the timeout so that we can see it has actually written something in the password box I will save and run and check so it opens the browser goes here and yes you can see it has found the password box and written ABCD there so this is how we can use relative locators it will be very useful whenever you have uh, some elements on your web page which do not have uh, very specific properties and it is very hard to create uh, X paths or use CSS selectors or use any of the properties in that case you can see what is the nearest 
available element which has some direct properties or which is very easy to find and then based on that you can find the particular element using the relative locators that is above below left of right of near etc so this is the example this is exactly what we have used and this is how we can use relative locators in selenium 4 i hope this session was very useful please do some hands-on and let me know if you face any issues i will see you soon thank you for watching and never stop learning